This is Eric Campbell. You can find me at ericcampbell.com. This is Brian Walker with Image Armor Pretreatment and Inks. Johnny Shell with SGIA. Scott Fresner with T-Biz and Network International. And you're listening to Two Regular Guys Podcast. 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 Hosted by Terry Combs and Aaron Montgomery. If you're not listening, you're missing out. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. It is Friday, October 15th, 2021. I'm Eric Campbell sitting in for the illustrious Terry Combs, and you can find me at ericcampbell.com. Illustrious, I love it. <laughs> uh, well, I'm Aaron Montgomery, and you can find me over at oursuccessgroup.com. Today, I'm excited to have Eric here. We've got a great uh, show today because we're in Reggie season. I can't believe that we're already in Reggie season here, Eric, but uh, we're going to announce the categories today and, and open up the nominations. So uh, pretty excited about uh, getting Reggie season kicked off here today. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you guys don't know, that's kind of uh, part of the big reason I'm here on the show as the producer. Kind of started out with the Reggies. I even have one of the uh, lovely Reggie's award mugs that <laughs> is with me that we used to do back in the day. Uh, I mean, plaques are more the thing these days, but I love those plaques. But the, the thing is, it, it's such a, a great thing to be able to have it be a, a, a specific like industry user, industry led award. It's the people yeah. who are listeners, the people who are decorators who lead this, who uh, submit all these nominations, who do the voting. Uh, no part of this is controlled by publishing or anything else. It's all yeah. about you and it's all about who you want to recognize. So I'm, I'm thoroughly excited to continue to be able to bring this stuff to you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I definitely, the thing that I've been so proud about, uh, Eric, that you mentioned, you know, it, it's the only, as far as I know, the only industry wide where, you know, the, there's not a, a group of people, there's not judges, there's, like you said, not publishers, not some company deciding, okay, here's the winners. Yep. We have no say in it. We're just the facilitators and uh, the <laughs> hosts of, of this. And, and we have no real say in uh, in the outcome. And we enjoy. In fact, uh, Terry's said this before, but we we meet new people almost every year through the Reggie's and, and get to learn about new people in the industry that, again, this is all about the recognition. Um, so yeah. the Reggie's is kind of the the name that it goes by, but it's it's our industry's uh, decorators community award and, and about yeah. just recognizing people that that are you know going above and beyond and and doing a little bit more and and um it's not necessarily about the competition and we'll get into more of that here as we get a little deeper into uh into the category announcements here but uh so yes very excited and excited to have eric here um terry is off at his son's yeah. wedding so uh congratulations to terry's son and uh they their wedding's actually today so Terry might not even be tuned in. He's probably getting ready for the wedding and uh, so excited for them. And we'll look forward to having Terry back next week. But uh, again, love having Eric here. Um, Eric, do you want to say hello to some of the Reggies here first this morning? And then we'll get yeah, into some let's, news. Let's grab some people from the comments. So we, we definitely have uh, Chuck is in listening. So Chuck says, good morning. Good morning, Chuck. Cindy King out of Texas. Good morning, y'all. I love that. Thank you for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not yep. the only one who sometimes takes me back. Uh, <laughs> my, my dad's from Texas and I used to spend my summers there in Texas with my grandparents. And yep, the y'all, I, I, I still get it every once in a while. still comes back for me. <laughs> no, the y'all is real. And hey, New Mexico has enough of it. <laughs> just enough of it that i get some y'all on when i yeah, need there to you go <laughs> so thanks cindy uh christine shreve is also in saying good morning guys so good morning christine love to have you in great friend of the show yeah. uh todd downey's in todd good morning todd uh, i always forget kingsbury crafts you can say your name if you want to because whenever you guys have your youtube handles on i forget which name is on there but thank you for saying <laughs> happy friday uh todd of course coming through with the first joke of the day as todd often does uh my dog is named reggie do i get an award for that it depends on how many votes you get my man <laughs> what did your dog do for the industry todd yeah you're uh, you're you're it's maybe some tiktoks with your dog uh you know getting out there trying to get your get the voting going then that <laughs> there's the all kinds go. of awards there's all kinds of education you could be doing <laughs> dog centric gail all right. Ramona so, says, yeah, yeah, I made it. Thank you. Kristen's in. Jerry is in. Hi, guys. Michelle says, good morning. Letty is in. Uh, we have Dean also saying good morning. Justice says, hi, all from Sweden. Thank you for being here. And 
Gail, thank you, Gail. Gail. Yeah, for we'll, being we'll, we'll, do, we'll try to remember. I, no promises. <laughs> I know sometimes, folks, when you when you have your name on as the business name, it's hard for us to remember or address every one of them. But I certainly nice. do try. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> thanks for being here, everybody. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, excited about this. But Eric, we got a little bit of news to share before we get into this here. So uh, why don't you do. start us off? That we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this immediately because this is something exciting, especially because some of our industry friends, people we know and love are involved in this event. Uh, Lindsay Salcedo, founder of Applicate Getaway, uh, by the way, Terry's favorite name for anything <laughs> as far as events, has announced the virtual Applicate Getaway will be November 12th through 14th. Uh, the classes and vendor information will be available online starting November 12th and will continue to be available through January 21st, 2022. Uh, virtual Applicate Getaway vendors or, or offers a state of classes on different topics from the, some of the top instructors in the industry. Uh, instructors will include Alexis Galloway of So Sweet Monogramming, Jeff Fuller of Fuller Embroidery Works and the Embroidery Nerd, who we know well, Lisa Shaw, a good friend of mine of Sew Bubbles and Brilliance, and Sheila Ryan of Designs by Baby Moon, and once more, our own Aaron Montgomery. <laughs> so come on, guys, <laughs> sign up for this to register to attend visit applicategetaway.com. As we know, a tremendously great slate of folks here, people who we know and love and have always enjoyed that the education that we're getting there. So love to see Lindsay putting up the virtual event and having people have a chance to get to Applicate Getaway. I know tons of people were saying when we were doing the events, they were wishing they could have more interaction and love to see that Applicate Getaway is leading off in November with this awesome slate of folks. So Aaron, tell us a little about your class. I mean, you have a chance here. <laughs> well, Todd just gave it away. Uh, unfortunately, he says, uh, I bet Aaron's going to have an amazing embroidery class. He sa has such knowledge on the process. 15 that 15 minutes. minutes really, yeah, really gets you in. Hey, I always say teach at any stage, right? Teach at any stage. Right. You know something. Right. You have that beginner's right. mindset. For hey, sure. I, yeah, exactly. If you if you have less than 15 <laughs> minutes of experience with embroidery, embroidery I am your guy. <laughs> and, and, and at some point, people are going to get upset with me for writing this uh, whole whole thing but no i i, I did enjoy it i, I it made me kind of understand the process a little bit better you know you would think after 22 years in this industry that you know i i it just was never never my thing right so and and i always knew people i i know people right that's that's what my thing is as you can see sitting next to me here i know people you know um so anyhow um it, it was fun but it will not be an embroidery class uh still determining kind of what i've got all sorts of different stuff so if you guys okay. have suggestions uh please feel free to uh to let me know um mindset planning marketing pricing strategy uh, blah 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 you guys know what i talk about so uh anything you'd like to hear uh i'm, I'm happy to share it and uh that will be happening so we'll get more details about what what exactly i'm i'm putting together here soon but uh as of right now just sign up and then we'll go from there <laughs> I, I'll, I will go ahead and throw myself under the bus because i feel like i threw you under the bus <laughs> mm, you're fine uh, i have also just gotten my approvals for stuff for long beach coming up in january i just found out that i am doing all my stuff and uh, uh i owe someone some class descriptions today in fact so <laughs> don't feel bad some of us we, we oh, yeah. get our descriptions out once we get our verification we're doing stuff so yeah, yeah. Me too. If you haven't seen that, I, what's going on for January in Long Beach, don't worry. Nobody has. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they've got titles, not descriptions, but it's coming soon. I would there like to go, bring up that go. we have Christine Shreve, uh, instrumental in putting together, of course, this this last Applicate Getaway Live event. Uh, thank you for telling people about the event. Excited about the instructors and the classes they'll be offering. Looking at that slate of instructors, I'm absolutely excited. And of course, you guys know I, I'm deeply involved with folks like Jeff and Lisa. So I've got I've got some you know some horses in this race, but at the same time, <laughs> uh, these are people who I, I know and trust, and so I'm really glad to see them out there. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. All right. Well, um, Eric, in spirit of the awards show and the Reggies kicking off here, I wanted to share some more news about another award opportunity out there. So nominations are open for the fourth annual screen print. Screen Printing, excuse me, Screen Printing Rising Star Award, uh, designed to recognize the emerging next generation of industry leaders. Screen Printing Rising Star Awards will honor six young people whose accomplishments in specialty printing have made an indelible impressions. impression. Sorry, <laughs> The award <laughs> is open to individuals aged 35 or younger who are employed in specialty printing business. Uh, the deadline to submit nominees is November 10th, uh, 2021. 
So, uh, and then the, the link there is uh, form. Blah, 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 blah. It, you'll find it in the comments there <laughs> and uh, we'll have it in, in the show notes as well for you. So it's, it's a jot form with a whole bunch of numbers. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get, get in on the live comments or jump in on Facebook or YouTube. You'll be able to find that in the links. <laughs> speaking <laughs> of, uh, so not, uh, I was not speaking of a joke, but you brought up that Todd showed up with the first joke. Um, Jerry has uh, chimed in with another uh, joke here. He says, people brag about being great at embroidery. I always say, so what? <laughs> you get the head uh, shake first today, Jerry. Yes, yes. <laughs> so speaking of head shakes, we do have the official dad joke, if you are ready, Eric. Oh, so it's me today. Or is oh, it, no, no, no. I, I do the dad joke. You do the dad joke. Make sure, that, because, you know, okay. you're, you're, you're on screen. So the head shake, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, try, I'll try not to go for the full face palm so that I don't like knock my hat <laughs> yeah. off or anything, okay. but I, I'm sure it'll still hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Todd says we get to see the head shakes today. So here we go. All right. So dad joke time. Eric, yeah, what do you call someone who doesn't believe in chickens? I don't know. What do you call someone who doesn't believe in chickens? An agnostic. (laughs) (sighs) I could tell he's fighting it off. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to go for the full uh, Picard meme face palm there, but I I (laughs) try not to just do it for effect. But but that's still pretty rough. And I even have my (laughs) dad shirt on today. It says downright awesome dude. So there we go. (laughs) so so you are doubling up on dad jokes today for sure (laughs) all right my my son's home from school so just uh you know trying to (laughs) put the dad hat on today if you have the ability like i said that is the best excuse ever to have the corny jokes because i just say them and i just have to eat it i don't i'm not a dad so i don't get to be i don't have any excuse for the fact that i just have a poor sense of humor sometimes (laughs) or that i like puns yeah all right yes yes but uh before we dive in Thanks to everyone checking out the Tubular Guys podcast. We are always looking for new guests. If you or anyone you know would like to join us, go to calendly.com slash two regular guys with your show ideas. Uh, also check us out. Info at two regular guys.com is a great place to email us if you have show ideas or concepts or things you would like us to discuss. But if you are listening to the podcast version of our show, we would appreciate you sharing the two regular guys with your industry friends so they can become regulators too. We would also greatly appreciate you giving us a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, or Amazon Podcasts, or wherever you do your podcast listening. It makes a big difference to us to get those positive reviews. Uh, if you are watching us live right now, please join in the comments, questions, jokes, and all of the other trouble we get into discussing things with the live audience. Because, you know, uh, both Aaron and I have a tendency to run off and squirrel to the comments when it's time to get into these jokes and stuff. But the thing is, we <laughs> love that live interaction, and we would love for you to share this with your friends in the industry so they can get in on the fun. Yeah, absolutely. Get out there, share it. Let's get some more people in here and uh, yes. get people excited about the Reggies. You know, that that's uh, that's that's our main goal today here, Eric, for me, at least. So. All right. Well, before we do that, Eric, can we uh, just hear a quick word from uh, our success group, my company, and then we will dive into uh, the Reggie category uh, nominee. No, Reggie category announcements. There you go. I, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I know. Too excited, man. <laughs> yeah, Let's do yeah. it. All right. We are looking for undercover heroes. Yes, those heroes hiding in the dark. You know, the people just like you and me who have families, businesses, a community counting on them to be able to share their unique gifts. You're going to be able to spot them because of the dubious evil villain, Self-Doubt. This evil inner critic who is blocking them from achieving the amazing results they deserve. This villain is so dangerous because she could be undermining you as we speak. My wife, Kyleen Montgomery, and I will be guiding another group of superheroes through a 60-minute virtual workshop to share a process to remove limiting beliefs, and we're going to leave you with the resources to keep you knocking down blocks anytime you want thereafter. Please send anyone you know with self-doubt or limiting beliefs to our successgroup.com forward slash unlock this way they can sign up and unlock their full potential oh and by the way so can you awesome well thanks for 
letting uh, me announce that we are excited about that coming up on october 21st to be the next one but then uh, we've got them scheduled every month thereafter so um again if you'll go to our success group.com forward slash unlock uh we are excited it's just been such a powerful experience for uh, myself and, and my wife and the people that i've already got to do it with that just can't not share it so uh we're, we're excited to, to to do that eric so thanks for allowing me to share that with everybody here um all right well shall we sir are you ready you know, I'm, I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to get it into it because I know we've got a lot of really engaged listeners and, and watchers, people who have people they want to recognize. So, yeah, I, I can't wait. It's it's right. definitely ready season. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, first and foremost, though, I want to make a quick announcement that uh, new for the 2021 Reggie's, which is the ninth annual um, for those of you keeping Man. track at home, <laughs> uh, ninth annual Reggie Awards. The, this year, uh, they are being sponsored by our success group. Uh, so on top of the mug, and, and Eric's got a one from a, a way, way back, but a couple years back, a few years back, <laughs> I've got a, I've got an extra one from last year. So, you know, on top of the mugs, you're also going to get a plaque that the winners will also get a plaque. But then this year, we're also upping the ante a little bit for the winners. Uh, they're going to get a free copy of the five keys of growing and launching online training program that they can use themselves or they can gift it to a customer or a community member, you know, depending on, nice. on what they are. So, you know, we, we deal with a lot of people that are in the vendor space and the educators and stuff like that. And so they probably don't need the growing and launching training program, but I'm sure there's somebody in their community that would, and uh, those online training programs sell for $497. So um, we're, we're excited awesome. to be able to, uh, to give that extra opportunity for people to, to grow and, and learn and, and be educated. And that's what we're all about here at, uh, at two Raider guys is the education and, and growing our industry, the, the rising tide lifting all boats, right? Eric is what yeah, I totally. love I, to I, say. I'm wishing I had my plaques right in front of me. They're, they're like 10 feet away, but I'm not going to jump up in the middle, <laughs> knock over the green screen, yeah. and like <laughs> make a bunch of haste, but I absolutely keep, I have all the plaques I've had for the years of winning. Um, and like I said, those are, these are proud moments for me and, and seeing you you helping to recognize that and make it another learning experience is awesome. And like I said, folks, this is uh, the recognition. We've talked about this many times. I know Pete talked about this, who we have always on our, our outro. I believe we talked about how people don't get celebrated enough. He talks about that in his speeches. And I think this is this recognition is kind of that fuel that keeps people uh, contributing and helping out. And it also gives us a chance to give back. And I love seeing that we're, like I said, continuing that on and you know, up in the ante. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and like you said, Eric, it, it is all about that recognition. Yes, we have some fun. Yes. There's some things and, and, and some stuff and some winning. And so it's a competition, right? A little bit, but, but ultimately what this is about is recognizing people that have supported other people and made the industry better in general. So, um, to make sure, you know, after doing this for nine years, yeah. <laughs> certain things go on and, and, you know, it's just part of it. And sure. I've had lots of conversations with people after the fact or emails from people that come in and, you know, say this or that or the other thing. And, and the way that we've intentionally put this together is that this is completely industry driven. So if yeah. somebody finds a loophole, it happens. Right. And then we move on and, uh, you know, we try to make adjustments as we can to just keep it, keep it fresh and keep it moving forward. So, um, <clears throat> So with that being said, we, we've got a few ground rules we want to lay out for everybody here. And, and I, if you don't mind, I can share those here real quick, Eric. For sure. All right. Well, so the first ground rule is um, there are 10 categories coming up. And when you nominate, you uh, must nominate somebody. You must pick out somebody from at least seven of the 10 categories. So you can't just come in and nominate one person in one category and that nomination be counted. So you have to kind of do the work, right? You have to be paying attention. You have to be looking a little wider than just the one person that you want to support. And um, so if your nomination form comes in with less than seven categories filled out, it will be tossed out. So it's just not going to count. And and just the way it is. Secondly, yeah, well, help, like people said, it prevents some of the, when people are worried about that spamming, it prevents people from just jumping on and and running through on one category real fast and spam. And it just, it's yeah, another yeah. way to show that you're engaged. Yeah. Trying to keep the, the ballot box from being stuffed with just one category. <laughs> right. So um, and then next ground rule to kind of encourage a wider range of participation mm -hmm. from around the industry. 
because that's what this is all about. The industry as a whole, it's not about one group, one person, one thing. It's the industry as a whole. Um, we're going to limit the nominations to a maximum of two categories per company or individual. So in the case that that company or individual receives nominations in more than two categories, um, then they'll only be eligible for the voting in the top two categories that they were nominated in. So um, yeah. basically just kind of um, giving, again, a wider <laughs> reach of more people around the industry, keeping it uh, keeping it flowing there. So well, um, just like Terry always says, we get introduced to new people and new companies whenever we do the Reggie's. We want that to happen for everybody. So sweeping with, for everybody. And uh, hey, I've been part of that before where I've been in tons of categories myself. Uh, yeah. I think this is a great way for us to make sure that new people get a chance at the awards and it's uh, not just what people think about the popularity contest thing. Sure. But this allows everybody to get a chance to be seen. And I think that's a great thing this year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, um, Next year, nominations will close on November 11th. So we got just a little less than a month here at 5 p.m. Central Time. And uh, and this date is a hard date. Um, so no emails afterwards asking us to make an exception. We get it every year and I expect to get it again this year, but we've never made an exception. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we're going to keep it that way. Uh, we will be announcing all of the nominees uh, that, you know, where the nominations counted, right, outside of the ones that got tossed out uh, because they didn't follow the rules. And uh, we will be announcing all those nominees on November 12th, the next day. And um, and then uh, voting will take place between November 12th and then the voting will be over December 9th. And then the next day on December 10th at the 10 a.m. normal Friday time slot, we will be announcing the winners. So um, th those are the basic ground rules. Um, I, I wanted to get Christine's uh, note up here because, uh, and even if you don't win, she says, nominated several times, never won. It is sincerely an honor to be nominated. It means yep. people know and appreciate what you're doing. Absolutely. Um, and uh, that to me, Eric, uh, you know, we when you and Terry and I were kind of talking about this, making sure we had all of our ducks in a row before the show here today, that was one of the things that came up. To, to me, the most important show is the one that we'll do on uh, the 12th of November, yeah. where we, like I said, we go through and list out every single nominee that we've got on the list and we, we go through it and you know, we try to make sure that we kind of know where they are, point people in their direction. And so people can learn about these people that maybe they need to connect with. And, and we start making better connections in our industry. So to me, that's the most important uh, show that we do all year, Eric. Well, in, that's in the thing. Mind. It is completely that nominee show lets us anyone who gets nominated. And by the way, I want to address this really quick because Ramona yeah. is saying, yeah. can nominated institutions be a team or a single person? They have different categories. Some are company categories. Some are we have like and we'll get to them in a second but we have like educational resources we have other categories yeah. they're not all single people so also uh we have a comment from dean says you mean i have to know seven people that could be hard i don't get this shot much i don't think <laughs> all of us do but we i'm betting you probably have seven products companies and people all put together that you know <laughs> yeah um, so there's different categories for different and dean, stuff, so. i see you out there a lot so you know seven yeah. people <laughs> i'm sure you know seven people but yeah i i know in in all you know all jokes aside and i know it was in jest but sincerely, these are the categories have different options for you to nominate teams, for you to nominate resources, for you to nominate products. So absolutely. once we go through the categories, you'll be able to see what that is. But I'm going to say absolutely that nominee show, we really do read off everybody. Yep. And that's where we get that chance to just say, look at the wealth of these people who are doing the right things, these companies who are doing the right things and these products who are making a difference for us as decorators. So, yeah. I, I mean, I love, and I've, I've won several of them. And I think I'll say for me, the proudest one, despite the fact that I've run a bunch of one, you know, like I said, a few of them, um, the proudest one for me was best ambassador. It's my favorite category. It's something we always talk about, but winning the inaugural best ambassador made a big difference to me because like the nominee show, it's something where you're saying, these are the people who represent the industry well and uh, mm -hmm. do well in showing what we do. And I love that. So uh, the nominee show is awesome. And really it is an honor to be nominated no matter uh, no matter if you ever win. It's just awesome to be in that category with those people. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, Tanya said very much an on honor, excuse me. Yep. And uh, Keith said, I was definitely honored to be nominated last year. Absolutely. Yep. And well-deserved Keith. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so there we go. All right, Eric. Well, let's do this first before we get to the category. I know we keep dragging our feet. You know, that's, <laughs> hey, it makes for a more entertaining show right now. Um, but let, let's just uh, real quick, let's, uh, if you wouldn't mind doing this for me, actually, if, uh, just sure. run through last year's winners and in, in each of the categories. So kind of people get, again, that flavor, that spice. We've got a few changes coming up here, but uh, we do. Give us, give us that rundown, Eric. All right, so this is last year's categories and winners. So once again, you get recognized for more than a year. <laughs> well, actually, I, I think that was a typo there, Eric. Uh, we oh. forgot to take that out. So these are just the winners from last year. Apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you could go back to last year's show. I'll, I'll get last year's show posted up there. So oh, we've so, got all of this. So yeah. best new product is our first category we have on here. So the best new product was ColorSpark, HTV Anything. Uh, next, we have the best sales or customer service rep. That was Bobby Blosser. Company that provides the best customer service, the Rhinestone World. Uh, we were going to see them more than once, <laughs> as we know. Very popular folks. Uh, best industry educator. No surprise here, Matt Vassallo. Uh, best online educational content, the Rhinestone World YouTube channel. Uh, we have most influential up-and-comer in the industry. Again, Bobby Blosser. Uh, we have the Women in Garment Decorating Award, which I believe last year was the inaugural year for that. And that is Kelly DeFries, as you know, is Crystal Ninja. Most inspirational or encouraging decorators community member. And here we have Todd Downing. So it, friend of the show in the comments, as usual, Todd, <laughs> get your mention without having to worry about the noms. Uh, best guest on the Two Regular Guys podcast for last year is Pilar Harrison. Awesome to see her on there. And best ambassador for the industry, Matt Vassallo. So, yeah, we had an awesome slate of people winning last year and a great bunch of categories. So I'm excited to get that going this year. I know we've got a lot of people who are in, very interested in recommending their favorites on the list. So can't wait go. to get into the categories. Yeah. And uh, I, we got the uh, show from last year into the comments there, but we'll also Thanks, have sir. that in the show notes after we get this posted on our website at tworegularguys.com. So check that out. Um, Eric, I know we already kind of talked about the the spirit of the show and and that, that you know, what we're here to do and recognize. So I think we can go ahead and uh, dive right in. I, I, I know that we'd love to drag our feet a little bit long, build that intent in uh, suspense, but no, um, <laughs> let, let's get the categories announced and uh, then we will uh, share where people can go and start nominating. So uh, you want to start us off with the first category here? Absolutely. So here are, as we know, the two the 2021 categories, two other guys, Reggie's Awards. Like I said, I want to drag my feet because this is like, we only get a few of these shows where we have your rapt attention. <laughs> and so I want to make sure you guys really feel this one. So the number one category is best new product. Now we do have some also ground rules and some ways that we're going to identify that product. So this category is for products that have made an impact on our industry in 2021. These products must have been released in the last three years and have not made the voting before. We'll do our best to police the products, but we can't verify every product was in the last three years. We are really counting on you guys to try and give us a new product that made an impact for you recently. Mm -hmm. uh, we will verify that it's not made the voting before by reviewing our earlier awards. But yeah, that's the concept. New product has made an impact on our industry in the last year and has to have been released in the last three years. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. That, that's always a great one. And yep. I always learn about a new product myself. You know, um, there's, I remember in years past, there was a, a you know, different ones on the, the nomination list and um, they were embroidery products. So I'm like, Hey, Eric, yeah, I typed in the message. <laughs> hey dude, uh, do you know this product? Cause like there was different spellings of it and I couldn't find it. And, and we also like to, you know, if we can point somebody to, um, you know, a, a website link or something like that. I'm like, I, I've never heard of this before. And you're like, oh yeah, it's this. Uh, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I, I do tend to drag along my embroidery crew. And uh, <laughs> also I know the embroidery nerd folks are out there certainly looking to get, get themselves into the list. So I know yeah. that there's going to be plenty of embroidery products on the list this year All that right. we've actually had some cool stuff come up in the, in the uh, products and materials and software world. So I, yeah, yeah. I think there's a chance, guys. I know it's usually the printers who get on top of this one, but come on, embroidery folks. <laughs> you can well, nominate stuff too. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> and, and and Dean uh, has a comment here that I think fits perfectly here. He says, uh, you can't ask a question without somebody saying DTF must be it, right? So um, in hey. that spirit, though, if, if you're going to say DTF as the new product, 
you need to call out a specific product and um, you know something that that is you know I, I DTF will not make the nomination list right we we need a specific product a, something that somebody is is offering that we can point yep. to and and say okay this blah 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 DTF yeah, your, from, your favorite supply or printer or whatever it is that makes that that's what we need to do then yeah, yeah for sure exactly so so not be specific please be specific. Please, yeah. Because we also have to have somewhere to send the plaque, as Todd says. Uh, Todd's polishing his plaque as we speak. <laughs> it was great to be nominated and win last year. Yeah, we have to send the mug to somebody, folks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. So the second category here, Eric, is the best customer service. And yeah. we'd like you to list the company. And if there is a specific person inside of that company, list them as well. Um and, and basically what we've done is in years past, we've had two separate categories and we went ahead and put them together this year um, because there seemed to be a lot of overlap. And so we wanted to get um, some other categories in here. And, and so I think this is a great opportunity. Again, if it is just a, a company in general that gives you great customer service. Um, but my guess is when, when we talk about great customer service, there's typically a person behind that, right? You know, oh, yeah. dealing with company EricCampbell.com is great, but my experience came from my interactions with Eric Campbell. Now, that's not a great <laughs> example, but you get the point, right? So, um, yeah. so that's what this category is all about. Um, so we're looking for the company or team member, company and or team member that is customer service oriented. It's, we want companies that have specific policies in place that are customer service oriented and, and really just put their customers first in, in our industry. So um, as you guys all know, and, and Eric is too, but I'm like this huge advocate of being more customer centric equals more profits for your company. Yeah. And I know some people think that that's the other way around. Oh, I have to bend over backwards, but that's not at all what it's all about. It's about focusing on building winning relationships with your customers and, and doing what's right for your ideal customers. And in turn, you will build more loyal customers that will make your company more profit. So I, I love this category. This has definitely always been a favorite of mine just to kind of see, you know, cause I love looking at like who's being nominated and then going, okay, yeah. well, what are they doing differently that other companies aren't, huh? Interesting, right? So there's a lot to learn, learn here, folks. <laughs> oh, and I'll say, well, I really liked the way we're doing it this year where we're listing the company and the person. It's also, it can be multiple people. If you have multiple team members who you deal with that are, are really critical to that customer service experience for you, go ahead and list them. Because yeah. that's one of those chances we have to kind of let this be a thing where there's a group. I know there were people who literally they had a company that they loved, but they couldn't decide which rep, which person, which educator from the company, which whoever was helping them with their service that they wanted to put on. Go ahead and list them out so that when we do finally have a winner, we can just say, and here are some of the people who people called out and said they were the ones who helped me over, who made this work for me. So I, I love how we're getting to make this a team effort for folks. So if they do have a team behind them, they can absolutely be all, all inclusive and part of that customer service yeah. award. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then real quick, Eric, we've just got yes. more regulators checking in and saying, hi, um, we, we won't get to them specifically, but we appreciate everybody tuning in and good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you're coming to us from. So thanks for joining us. We are, um, just announced the first two categories of the Reggie Awards, the ninth annual Reggie Awards. And uh, let's get to number three, Eric. It's all yes. yours, sir. Uh, a great favorite of mine, certainly. Number three is Best Industry Educator. And uh, this category is to recognize the best educator in our industry during 2021. This is someone who writes for industry magazines, presents seminars or webinars, or otherwise educates people to improve our industry. This person should be focused on education rather than infomercial type content. So the reason we put that out there is that this is not just sales pitches that look like education. We're looking for people who are producing specific educational content. So if you have an educator who has really just knocked your socks off in the last year with the content they're putting out, we all know 2021, we had a lot of opportunity to see online education we might never have seen before. Yeah. Uh, this is a great place to share or if it's someone you saw live at a conference, the few times that we did get to get out there, if you were, I know, like me, out and traveled a little bit this year and taught, um, those educators are all in there. The magazine writers, the people with blogs, yeah. the people with YouTube channels, whatever it is that was the best for you that has the, like I said, that knocked your socks off with the ability to get you where you need to go to educate you in the industry and to help you out. This is where we go with that. So best industry educa educator, um, it's pretty expansive, 
but I think that it's great to have all of those options for yeah. education. Yeah. Yeah. I agree, Eric. It's a, uh, um, again, coming back to the, to your point of the fact that we're looking for people that are, are interested in educating, not, not, pitch to, you know, so, um, and, and yeah, you've got all those things. So there were so many opportunities for education in 2021 from the virtual opportunities, all the wonderful yeah. podcasts and live video. Uh, or, I'm sorry, that that's, that's a different story. Um, <laughs> sorry. Well, this is for the educator Mad, themselves. This is, the, yes, this is for the educators themselves. Group. Sorry, I, I jumped ahead. So <laughs> we're talking about the uh, people writing for magazines, the seminars, webinars, uh, just the, that general education that's improving our industry. Yep. Sorry. All right. So now that I've confused everybody by jumping ahead, <laughs> shall I jump ahead? <laughs> yeah, go go to the second half. This The first one, best educator, that is a person. So we talk about group, group versus individual. This is one where <laughs> best educator is actually a person. So uh, whichever kind of person that is, is fine. Whatever they do as their channel is fine. But the next one, uh, let's have Aaron bring in there we go. more okay. about the channel. So the fourth <laughs> category is the best content or online education. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> so this is a category where we want to recognize a podcast or an online blog or video platform or virtual event or training session or just any anywhere that there's education happening as a, as a group. Um, th this is what we want to recognize here. And um, honestly, Eric, if, if it's education and industry, it probably fits here, right? Um, most of it's online. And, and so this is for that, that online stuff, those virtual events, the, you know, shows like this, shows like Christine's Women Plus Business and Embroidery Nerds and, and things like that. So again, I'm not trying to get anybody. <laughs> These are just things that oh, came to the top nice. of my head. There's a, a massive mountain of them. Those are just the ones that came to the top of my head on the fly without having any notes on that. So just wanted to kind of- As much as, we, as we've joked about everybody in the world having a podcast this year, we're very happy for everybody to have a chance at this. So yeah. if there's somebody, it doesn't matter if they've been in for years or they're, or they're new and they've got uh, episodes under their belt. If someone has delivered you a quality podcast, a quality blog, quality video channel, awesome virtual event. This is all about specifically online stuff. So that's Correct. that's what we're really looking for in this one. So podcast or online education, this is really about uh, those people who have taken that switch to online and made something really valuable. Yeah, exactly. And and this used to be just best online education. And so we added the the podcast because of the feedback that we got from folks last year. Um, yeah, they were, yeah. you know, also getting their education from from the podcast, like like the two regular guys podcast. So um, everybody was saying, oh, you got to have that category. And we said, you know what, let's just put those together. I think that makes a lot of sense. So um, yeah, and honestly, it's, it's something that I've talked about before. It's like we're at this point where podcast, video channel, blog, they are all kind of a, of a piece. Most of the time people are doing multimedia. So this is really that chance where you've got if you've got a group that has a channel that's really delivering, this is where to put it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, let's get to number five here, Eric. All right. And this is one also near and dear to our hearts. Uh, best industry trade show. Uh, this category has re-entered the Reggie Awards. We actually had to kind of put this on pause because we had a year where there really weren't in-person events. Uh, but we actually have had many in-person events this year in 2021 and the, the latter half. And we want to recognize the in-person event that best supported, educated, and provided networking for the decorators community in 2021. So yes, this is specifically in-person events is what we're looking for in this one. Uh, because we can have a virtual events in the previous one, this is in-person events. This is the actual trade shows. This is where you're beating feet and looking at actual garments, looking at actual machines yeah. on the trade show floor. Exactly. So best industry trade show. Uh, like I said, a slightly smaller field than some years, but people really went out there and we want to especially give back because it was a hard year for everybody involved in organizing these trade shows and putting them on, including the vendors. So we would love for the ind best industry trade show to get some love in this year's awards. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That, that, like you said, near and near and dear to our heart for sure. Um, as much as I've been proud of our industry for stepping up and doing the virtuals and, and kind of making that, that shift and, and pivot, you know, that, that word that we used a ton in 2020 pivot. Um, <laughs> I, I just don't think that our industry will ever be the same if we didn't have in person. I mean, we, we're, we're doing products that are, tangible touchable type things and and we've got yeah. to go touch and feel the equipment we've got to go you know get that networking opportunity it's great to have these virtual events where we can kind of chat a little bit and and 
but the actual opportunity to sit next to somebody, maybe you're still six feet away, but you're, you're having that conversation and can see what their eyes are doing and, and kind of look at body language and stuff like that. I think that's so valuable to, to our industry. So, um, you know, if you have never, Terry was actually said this before where there's people that have entered this industry that have not been yeah. able to ever go to an in-person event. Now that's starting to change, which is great. Um, so yeah. if you've never been to an in-person event, try to find one, try, try to make that uh, something that, you know, it's a business expense to so write it off. But I mean, this can be super valuable to your business. Just that uh, from the education, from the opportunity to talk to new vendors, find new sources to this whole idea of the networking and, and just, it's, it becomes a community and, and all of the shows do such a great job kind of uh, enhancing that opportunity from the education, the networking and, and the learning um, from, from the vendors, you know, the vendor interactions. I think it's great. So anyhow. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I, I think that's uh, a bit, honestly, I just have to concur with that and say, getting back out the end of this year was a, a huge deal for me. And I know being able to go to do the shows, meeting some people who I've known online for many years, but getting to actually enjoy sitting around a table. If you guys saw pictures of like uh, me with the embroidery nerd folks, we were all out there saying Christine was there, but uh, Jay Bissell, we were all sitting around these tables where it's like a mix of people that you may never see in one place at one time, all interacting live. And that's where you get these very interesting questions and answers and discussions that come up we are more all together, more than the sum of our parts. And that yeah. really shines at these events. And certainly same thing in the classes, the kind of questions other people ask that you forgot to ask that you maybe didn't think to ask enhance all of the education. So in, in-person stuff is really important. And, yeah. and like I said, I just also, we know that it was blood, sweat, and tears getting these things on this year. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we and probably will continue that, that way for, for a little bit. It's still, it, it surely uh, seems to, yeah, it still seems a little <laughs> bit challenging out there. All right. Uh, so Eric, we were concerned that we wouldn't have enough and we're only at category number five and 40 minutes into the show. Um, I'm pretty confident that we would be just fine. So <laughs> let's see if we can kind of turn, turn up the pace just a hair. Um, right. But Christine jumped in and so now we've got to go to that. The squirrel opportunity here. Fort Worth was an amazing experience. I met so many people that I had known virtually for quite a while. Love seeing everyone and connecting. Excellent. Yeah, it was um, fantastic. Uh, Dean says, my attitude for next year, I am posed for recovery. Awesome. I love it. Yes. Bring love that uh, abundance mindset, Dean. It, it'll do amazing things for you. All Absolutely. right, Eric. So number, number six, six here. Um, All right. I I think it's my turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're odd. I'm even. Okay. Um, <laughs> Go for it. Influential up and comer in the industry. So this category is to recognize the under 40 crowd. I know screen printing does under 35, but I think we're older. So we're going <laughs> to, so if you're under you 40, it. you're an up and comer to us. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so this nominee should exemplify all the positive aspects of garment and product decoration. And uh, we'd appreciate it before nominating. If you could please be sure that in fact, the person is under 40. Um, I, I'm not sure how we will police that. We will do our best. <laughs> Um, last year, I actually reached out to a couple of the people that were nominated and asked them, and uh, some of them were gracious enough to say, no, unfortunately, I am not. Um, Eric was one of them. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Eric, I didn't mean to throw that out there. <laughs> but anyhow, again, as, as this industry goes, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, Terry's been doing it since, you know, I think invention of the wheel. Right. And, <laughs> and so there, there's this, <laughs> we get to take shots at Terry while he's not here. I love it. Um, <laughs> So, so there, you know, we, we have to be looking towards the future. It's why I love working with like the skills USA group so much, because yeah. that's like yeah. really the future, you know, when, when my kids might be involved in something like this. And then, so who, who are the people right now that are the younger people? Cause as our industry goes, you know, I, I spent a lot of years traveling on the trade show, you know, circuit. Right. And, and so you'd go to shows and there'd be people and there'd be young people that would show up at companies and, and you could tell it was just kind of a job. It was just kind of a stop on their, their ladder. Right. Mm -hmm. But then there were other people where like, they would like, Oh, I'd not met you before you're a younger person. And you were all into this decorating thing. And you, you're, you know, um, again, I'm not uh, trying to <laughs> 
enhance the, the somebody's nomination chance. But the person that stands out to me is like Matt Marcote, right? A yeah, young guy. Yeah. And he just was yeah. all in on screen printing and then wanted to educate and share and help. And um, speaking of Matt, congratulations, he's gotten engaged. So congratulations to him. So <laughs> again, people, Matt. people like that. Right. And, and, and I'm not sure if Matt's even still under 40. He probably is, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at that. Anyways, that's, that's the point, Eric. So there we yeah. go. Well, no. And honestly, uh, what I always say about this, every time somebody says, oh, aren't you worried about people coming up behind you and, you know, taking your spot, as it were. And I would say that's exactly <laughs> the point. Why would we educate if we don't want somebody to do it better than us? If we can't teach someone and have them surpass us one day, there is no point. So, yeah, <laughs> no, I think as I, I admittedly get the sting of industry veteran once in a while, <laughs> as I'm over 40 now. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take that all day for for legacy. It's what we're doing for the yeah, industry. And yeah. I'd love to see young people who are already thinking that way. Yeah. And that so whole idea. Of, yeah. And Eric, that whole idea of like somebody taking your spot. Well, guess what? If they take your spot, then guess what you're supposed to do. Right. You know, that, uh, yes, please. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. And honestly, working with people who are coming in is is one of the, the wonderful things about being in the industry for some time is being able to amplify their voices through things like this award and through working with them and to watch them come into their own. It's one of the most satisfying things about being in this industry for a period of time, for sure. sure. Absolutely. All right. So Absolutely. with that, I know we're supposed to shorten this up. <laughs> no, we'll go to number seven. I'll, I will I will try to not you know speechify too That's much right. or get on the, on, the, on the soapbox. We but, knew uh, there was going to be bonus right. time, Eric. We knew it. We, we knew, knew it. it. We knew <laughs> it. Hey, we're rolling into our own show next, folks. The That's half right. is up right. next. We, we can just flip right to the next show. More than a half hour over. We're okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> we're good. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Category seven is another wonderful category that is fairly new to us. Uh, the Women in Garment Decorating Award, based on a quarterly show of the same name, this category is meant to recognize the person who's doing the most to raise the profile of women in the industry. So this is certainly we want to see. Um, I would love to see this category get an influx of new folks we haven't heard from. I, I yeah. love to see that every year because it seems like there are more and more people getting out there, sharing their experiences and helping each other and building community that really focuses on, on not only making space for, but recognizing the space that women are, are occupying and the things that they are building in our industry. And I love it. Yeah. So um, love to see that. And especially because it, it lets us see more of that community that maybe we aren't always seeing. And yeah. I have been incredibly uh, happy to tune in and see all the new people that Christine has brought in or people that we know and love who we hadn't heard their stories on Christine's podcast as well, the Women Plus Business podcast we mentioned before. Uh, women in garment decorating group that's out there has provided a lot of these wonderful people and their awesome stories and if you know someone in the industry who has that kind of story who has been building that community and who has been lifting women up i'd love to see you nominate them for this award yeah exactly and in fact uh, christine says that love the women in garment decorating award so proud that it exists and, yeah, and yes. Christine was absolutely a big part of making all that happen just yeah. instrumental so thank you christine for helping us to open to that community for sure yeah yeah definitely and and like you said eric i am super excited about you know this opportunity to meet new people to learn about new people and and to kind of again extend that that group of people that's raising that profile and and yeah you know, learning from new people that, Hey, I not met before. And that, that's the amazing thing to me. Like I said, 22 years in this industry, uh, nine years doing this podcast and I'm meeting new people every day. And I love that. I think that's what, what one of the biggest things that kind of just brings me pride to be part of this industry is the fact mm. that there's so many great people that, that work so hard in it. And, and we have this great community of support and, and people that, uh, you know, just, just want to be there for each other. There's plenty of pie to go around. So let's, uh, let's keep <laughs> raising the tide, right? I'll, I'll cliche well, us to death here. <laughs> and honestly, with, with the fact that the way our awards work, the other great thing is it means that people from your own community. So it's other women can come in and say, this is someone who's helped in my community, in our area, in our space. Yeah. And I think that's the best thing is it really gets a chance for people to nominate their own. Yeah. And to kind of bring people forward who they think have been, uh, like I said, have been instrumental, who are raising that profile and who are making that space happen. So, yeah, yeah. like I, like Christine, I'm really proud that it exists. I'm proud that uh, what whatever platform we have that we can help to, you know, provide some visibility and uh, yep. bring that space here. Absolutely. All right. Number eight here, Eric. Uh, this is the most inspirational decorators community member. This is for anyone in the industry has shown their ability to step above the 
fighting, the bickering, the debating, the commiserating, you know, I, I call it the blaming, complaining, excuse making, <laughs> um, and, and just kind of lead with encouragement, with motivation, inspiration, um, you know, group leaders potentially here, maybe moderators of, of groups, things like that. Just those who are always uplifting and are, are looking for the, the solution and the positive side, as opposed yeah. to the debating, commiserating, blaming, complaining, excuse making, all of those fun words that we want to get rid of. So there we go. Most <laughs> inspirational decorators community member is category number eight, Eric. So let's, let's, the great thing about this is it focuses on the positive and it makes a chance for this to be someone who's not like brand related. This can be anyone yep. who is prominent in a community who is helping out, who is making that positivity, that inspiration happen. So this is a great time where it's not, it doesn't have to be somebody branded or sponsored. This is someone who's coming out there and doing their own thing. And this means individual decorators, people who are giving of their time and of themselves. So yeah, love to see that in. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Well, let's get to number nine here. Number Eric. nine. Another wonderful one. That, hey, it's personal to us. So, of course, we <laughs> like this category quite a lot. But yep. uh, one that I, I'm happy to have participated in. And I really always love seeing uh, the nominees on this one because it helps us know what you guys love about the show. This is best guest on the two regular guys podcast so uh this category is to recognize the guest on the two regular guys podcast that provided the most information or that helped your business and was entertaining throughout the year so like i said we love seeing this one because hey we only know what we know from the comments we only know what we know from downloads and likes and stuff like that but what we don't always know is sometimes there are people who have made a real impact that have you know, stuck with you over the year. If you've got an episode that really it's stuck with you, there's something that you think about repeatedly. There's something that really helped you recognize that person who is on the show. And, you know, not only so that we can see uh, what they're doing, recognize them, but Hey, so we can also see what to do more of in the coming year, but yeah. we love to see this best guest. And I also, I really like when people who have come on get that recognition because you never know some people really it's nerve-wracking and it's a struggle to be to, to be a guest and sometimes oh, they so don't scary. know how they did it's always <laughs> scary for folks so i no. love when they get a chance to to be you know part of that and to get that recognition too yeah no i i agree and and honestly if you're one of those folks out there going gosh i don't know if i can come up with seven uh categories this is a perfect one because all you got to do is just go to two regular <laughs> <laughs> and you can look back through all of the episodes that we've had this last year. And if any of them that you remember or stuck out to you, go listen to them if you haven't yet. Right. You know, something stands out and that could be your your category for best guest right there. So um, I, I thoroughly approve of you binging the whole last year of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and and if you don't want to sit there and watch the video, guess what? You can, you know, uh, get on your apple podcast your your stitcher your whatever you <laughs> wherever you listen to your podcast as we always say um yep. and you can go through there too and uh, you know while you're driving while you're working out while you're sitting there um stitching uh, you know embroidering whatever <laughs> <laughs> that 50 minutes is really paying off buddy <laughs> yeah exactly exactly I'm a, he, yeah. No, I mean, all right <laughs> i think there's people who we all have like there's a phrase or something or one tip that really stuck with us that can be enough sometimes to make a massive difference in our year so if we have a guest that did that for you nominate them on this one yeah yeah for sure uh, a couple quick comments before we get to the 10th and final here eric uh todd talking about the most inspirational said as an inaugural winner i approve this category so it has the todd downing seal of approval which is always something we're looking for here on two regular guys <laughs> well, <laughs> as a beacon of positivity my friend uh we, we're happy that you were a part of that too <laughs> well deserved it todd todd always has a, a great quote and and just to, you know they're involved in in educating he's got his tuesdays with todd program um for those of you that aren't familiar todd's also my partner with our success group so um i i love giving todd a little bit of grief but I also love supporting Todd very much because he's an amazing human being and a great friend of mine. So, um, yeah, great. Uh, and then uh, Christine said, uh, talking about being a guest and stuff like that, she says, I think being a guest is fun, although I'm discovering I like being the host a little bit better. Who knew? And and Christine, you're living in your greatness zone. I love watching the Women Plus Business podcast and 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 how you um, you know work with your guests and and be the host and things like that. So. Uh, you're just keep living in your greatness down there, Christine. I, I love it. <laughs> All right, Eric, let's do it. Let's wrap this thing up. Let's put a bow this on is this. The biggie, my man. Let's do it. Number 10 is all yours, sir. All right. Uh, best ambassador for the industry. 
Uh, by the way, as an inaugural winner, like Todd said, <laughs> I'm going to go approve of this I'll category. my plaque out on this one. <laughs> like I said, this is one of the proudest awards. And everybody will say like, oh, well, you have magazines or other, other awards or something. For, because this is one of those things that you guys vote on, I know each one of the ambassadors who's been on was very proud to receive this one. So best ambassador for the industry. This category is to recognize someone who represents our industry within and without and exemplifies all of the positive aspects of garment and product decoration. And like I said, there are awesome people on the list. And I joke around about winning this sucker. I think I might have just been one of the only five people around back in the day. But <laughs> <laughs> at the same yeah, I know, self-deprecating humor is how I do. But <laughs> what I'm going to say about this is that there are some people out there, and we all know these people who are just incredible ambassadors. Not only are they inside the industry representing those great qualities that we need that we follow that we look up to they are outside of the industry showing other people who are outside who are not into the arcane stuff that we do behind the scenes for decorating what it is that we do and why it's valuable and bringing that positive energy and that kind of not only abundance mindset they have that kind of keeps them rolling but showing people what we can do for them these are the great ambassadors. And honestly, uh, whether they're on the vendor side, whether they're decorators themselves, whether they're educators, we know these people who really have made a difference in the industry and for us. And I, like I said, the best, it is the best category for me because I love seeing who people are, who people put forward as someone who is the representative for what we do. Um, so yeah, love this one big category for me. This is like the best capper for the awards uh, and always love to see who's nominated. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. This is uh, you know, not we haven't done it the entire Reggie's, but I think it's yeah. been around for, for for quite a while. And yeah. it really was that opportunity to kind of I don't know. you. Um, we we kind of looked at the Reggie's as, you know, again, this awards people's choice kind of thing. But yeah. like, what, what's that? I don't know. The the best movie. Right. You know, that 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 kind of elite yeah. uh, category yeah, totally. of uh, kind of the the lifetime body of work you know somebody that's really yeah. put their heart and soul into the industry and kind of just again represents and exemplifies all the things that that we want to see out of the the leaders of our industry so um I, yeah. I, I love i love that all right well um real quick todd says give me grief <laughs> he says he's gonna dunk a mug today and even though you won't see it i know you'll feel its presence yes i will cringe and be the sublimators among us <laughs> we know right. aaron has a distinct feeling about dunking mugs it? it's <laughs> i don't know good. why i get so fired up about it but yeah <laughs> please don't dip your mug all right anyhow uh, before i get uh, well eric nominations are officially open so oh my gosh, if, it's time. after all this, you're asking, hey, where should we go? Well, there it is right there. You go over to tworegularguys.com forward slash Reggie's, R-E-G-G-I-E-S. And uh, I think actually I made it. So even if you forget the S, it still gets you there. But that's where you go. Um, the rules will be listed at the top again. So just in case you forgot what we talked about earlier, each category is listed in there with some of the description so you should have all the information that that you need um, to nominate, um, and uh, it's one nomination per email. So uh, you know if you're thinking that you're going to go out there and try to stuff the ballot, you, there's no limit to it. But uh, each email address is only going to have <laughs> one one set of nominations on it. So uh, if you have multiple email addresses, I guess you can do that. Um, <laughs> I'll do that, guys. <laughs> I, i'm role. not encouraging this i'm just i'm just giving you because here's the other thing eric I think people. sometimes people think that you know uh, that we've got control and you know we kind of tweak things or, or do whatever it really is none of that i mean eric terry and i have the same we'll, the three of us will go and put in our nominations in fact we always encourage each other to kind of try to do it right away so again we're at the beginning of the list and so people aren't going oh well you just were trying to get that person on that no, um, I'm going to do mine right after we get done with the half and, and we'll get our nominations in just like you guys. So at yeah. this point, it's all up to <laughs> you, the listeners, the, the you guys have to nominate and you have to get out there. You have to share it. So we highly encourage you sharing this link with your community, with people around you, with your friends, um, whatever it is. So, again, two regular guys dot com forward slash Reggie's. And uh, get those nominations in. It will go until the 11th of November at 5 p.m. And then the page actually goes away. So um, hard, hard stop. Yep. <laughs> but it's uh, been the same rules all this time. So that hard stop has always been there. Yep. Um, 
if you have a favorite group, let's say you have a favorite group or favorite brand, you know, we did the new product. That's one that people sometimes feel like they missed out on. Tell the vendor, tell the people from the product that you love that you're doing this. Because yeah. that's that's how it goes. When people say, oh, it's popularity contest. Well, yeah, it's among all the decorators who likes what product the most. Yeah. So totally. go ahead and tell your vendor, tell the people who you want to involve. If you've got a favorite educator, tell them as well as nominating them so they can start promoting as well. Yeah. Uh, so self-promotion is fine because, hey, we're all about marketing. That's what we do. We're all yeah. about making sure that we get recognition for our work and, and that the decorators community at large gets recognition. Yeah. So get out there and tell folks, get them involved and they can, like I said, not only be part of the Reggie's, but be part of the community here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah exactly. get people and, in and share. Yeah. And, and we're very open about the fact that what, what the Reggie's is, right? Again, it's all for the industry. We don't yep. participate in, in kind of adjusting or sometimes things happen. And I, you know, I don't know if it's every year, but a lot of times we'll get, Oh, well, this just wasn't fair. Okay. I'm not saying that it is. And, and we accept that and we'll try to help and, and kind of encourage, we make some new rules to try to keep it yeah. as fair and, and to the spirit of what this is all about. Again, I know that everybody gets competitive and, and, and everybody wants to win. And we even added a little bit of extra in this, this year with the sponsorship by our success group, but that's not what it's all about. It's all about nominating and recognizing and just lifting up the, in, yeah. the, the industry as a whole. So every time I've had somebody reach out and say, Hey, you know, this isn't fair and blah, blah, blah. In fact, most of the time they, they do it anonymously, which is hilarious to me. Um, <laughs> and because again, I, I'm totally fine understanding and I won't be yeah. calling you out or anything like that. I just want to yeah. be able to have that conversation with you and go, I get it. You're right. Thank you for the feedback. Um, understand it. Um, but here's the reality of it. We, we're not going to, to change the way this is. And, and sure. you know, there are other awards out there. So, you know, <laughs> but yeah. So anyhow, I'm, I'm just excited to be able to get the Reggie season kicked back off again, because it is an opportunity to really recognize and, and just talk about people that are doing something that we're not aware of yet, or, 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 you yeah. know, kind of get, get some extra learning out there. So, um, so yeah, I let's, think. let's make it positive. Let's get out there. Let's promote each other. Let's promote the people we care about and who's, who have helped us the most and make the best of it. That's yep, really, absolutely. that's the word. I think that's what it is. We're trying to recognize people who have helped yep. us the most, the products who have made the most difference to us, the education that has helped us along. We'll get out there and do that and share with them. And it also gives you a secondary chance to make sure they know that you care. Yep, absolutely. All right. Well, I, I've spent enough time on my soapbox there, Eric. So, uh, <laughs> Let's, uh, let's talk about some of the other events coming up again. Uh, last recap here, you guys go over to tworegularguys.com. Sorry, yep. Eric. <laughs> tworegularguys.com <laughs> forward slash Reggie's to uh, get your are. nominations in. And uh, let's finish it there. Um, yes. Other events coming up here. Let me share Terry's real quick. Uh, so he has got his complete screen printing business course that's going to be happening at Workhorse Products in Phoenix, Arizona uh, next weekend, October 23rd and 24th. It is filling up fast, but uh, as of him putting the notes in yesterday, he said there was a couple of spots left. So uh, get over to terrycombs.com if you want to get out there to Phoenix. Uh, tip from somebody that used to live in Phoenix, October 23rd in Phoenix. Gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> it's the time to be in Phoenix. So head out nice. there, uh, get it in on that class, and you're going to learn from a industry veteran how to not only screen print, but just kind of the, the process, the, the whole picture of it. He, he does a great job and it's called the complete screen printing business course. And he gives it, gives it all to you. Um, and then that same course is happening at Atlas screen supply on November 6th through the 7th in Chicago, Illinois. So uh, again, if you'll go over to terrycombs.com, you can get all the information and, and register there and um, looking yeah. forward to uh you know what else he's got coming up but uh just keep your eye on terrycombs.com yeah. terrycombs.com check the tab that says tour dates yep yep <laughs> and then uh todd says i will be off next week but can't wait to join you on the show in two weeks to talk dtf so yeah spoiler upcoming. alert there <laughs> spoiler alert upcoming two episodes hence yeah hey eric you um i know we're out of order here a little bit but uh just tell us what yes. you've got coming up and then i'll close this off with my my things here all right so if you guys know, I also host a show, <laughs> the third show of my day on Fridays. Uh, I'll be uh, hosting the take up today, as usual, 2.30 Mountain Time. And today it is episode 86. 
essential elements of machine embroidery and digitizing. And in this case, I have been talking to a lot of really brand new digitizers and some digitizers who have maybe fallen out and come back. They're trying to rehab their results. And in doing so, I realized that it's a good time to start back up and say, what are these basic essential things that I think you should master and know about to get results from your digitizing, whether, like I said, it is early days with you and you are just trying to get results or you are trying to rehab some poor results and get back into the saddle. This is a good one for you. And honestly, I love to have people jump in and join live. So if you can come in 2.30 Mountain Time today, there's live Q&A and we'll be talking about those essentials, those most uh, those most elemental things to learn in order to be great at machine embroidery and digitizing out of the gate. So head over to ericcampbell.com. There's a tab at the top that says the take up that will have the full playlist and the latest video on YouTube listed, but you can find me on Facebook, on YouTube, E-R-I-C-H, that little H makes a big difference when you search. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. I almost said it, but I'm, I'm going to refrain. Um, okay. Do it. No, no, no. Terry's not refrain. here. Somebody <laughs> has to. <laughs> we'll get to that. All right. Well, <laughs> definitely check that out. I love that you're going back to the the, the basics in a, in a sense in that you, you said the word foundation. And I think yes. that's just so important for people to realize that a lot of times when we're having pro problems, what we really need to do is, like you said, just get to that foundation. Even, even people that have that experience can come back and say, oh, maybe if I tweak this a little bit in my foundation, then my final yes. masterpiece is going to be better. So I, I love it. I love it. Everything's ba It's like what they say about sports. So they say you got to do, you know, to work on the basics, the essentials. You, you do. You absolutely have to drill the essentials to know the best. You know the elements, you can do the rest. Yep, exactly. All right. For me, uh, mentioned, you heard it in the uh, in the advertisement at the beginning here that we've got Unlocking Your Potential Workshop that, uh, again, happening every month. But the next one upcoming is the 21st of October at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time or 5 p.m. Pacific Time. That's a, a Thursday evening. Uh, so it, hopefully it's after work for most people and they can join us. Uh, you, you heard all about what it was all about, but just a opportunity for anybody that's feeling stuck or blocked to just get out of your own head. So um, if you want to check that out, go to oursuccessgroup.com forward slash unlock and you can register for it. Um, it's We try to make it as small of an investment as we could because we just feel like this is something that's so powerful. And the cool part is the way we've developed it and designed it is once you go through this, you get the process and then you take that process with you and, and you can use this on your own. You know, we're happy to help you and have you come back if you want to go deeper again, but you'll have the whole process to do on your own to work on anything that's blocking you or, or getting you stuck after the fact. So I'm really excited about that. Plus I get to do it with, uh, my, my wife participates. And so we, we kind of joke that I'm the preacher and she's the teacher, right? So she brings her, her greatness to it. And then I can just focus on my side of things. And it's, it just, it's fantastic. Um, all right. So uh, that's happening. The next thing that I've got happening here is uh, the five proven foundations. Every small business needs webinar is available um, for you. Uh, no charge for it. It's a 30 minute presentation. Uh, it's on demand, so you can watch it in your time and uh, just share sharing with you what it takes to move your business from that pretender to contender. Um, and, and, and going from there. So if you want to check that out, you can go to our success slash proven for that one. And, uh, and then last but not least, in fact, very important tune in and, uh, got to check the time here. <laughs> what is it? We got about, uh, 20 minutes left. So 1130 AM center of the universe time, 1030 Eric's time. And <laughs> it's the half coming up and it's Eric and I again. So we're getting lots of time together. In fact, you've had to put up with me a whole bunch this week because you're going to join me tomorrow on Small Business Saturday too. This is absolutely true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> though, though with my excellent command of the calendar, I didn't recognize that I was doing that until today. But, but well, yeah, we're, we reminder. did back to back episodes, my man. Yeah. So that's the half, Eric. What, uh, what, what should people expect when they come to the half? Well, for one thing, 30 minutes, no exceptions. For once, we will absolutely cut it off at 30 minutes, sometimes right in the middle of a sentence pretty frequently, uh, sometimes by design, sometimes with, sometimes we try and trick each other. Often yeah. we both press a button, but it is 30 minutes, no exceptions. But what it is, is a completely live 
Q&A only. We talk about things that are on our mind, no plans, but this means that we are fully cool with you derailing us with comments at any given time. We're here yep. for the community yep. and that is what we want to do. Yeah. And <laughs> honestly, you know, we'll start talking about what's on our mind, but more often yeah. than not, we talk about what's on your mind, right? I mean, Absolutely. It, it's, it really is about interacting. And, and so if you've got a question about anything, you know, you want to know how my hair is so nice or whatever it is that's important <laughs> to you. Um, you know, why, why, you know, central time is center of the universe time, because we also, and I'll, I'm going to bring it back to a serious point. Cause somebody actually told me this. I had somebody who came on who, uh, who we answered their question for pretty much the entire session. They were like, wow, it's like, I got a 30 minute class on the thing that I wanted to talk about. And <laughs> you you completely went on this topic that I asked for. It's like, I got a, a counseling session for you guys. We had consulting <laughs> well, and I'm like, yeah, if you, if you get if you us on the, the right, right topic, passion topic for us, we'll go. <laughs> 30 minute con consultation with uh, Aaron and myself <laughs> free online in front of guests. <laughs> yeah, no, the, 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 you're very right. I, I, I love to uh, joke about things, but it, it is, it's totally. a, fun conversation it's an opportunity to uh really dive into whatever it is that uh, is on people's minds so and that is also at 12 30 christine time so if you're, that, if you're yes so playing at home <laughs> that could be eastern time for some of you as well um, i tell people get on the no notification and just say remind me click the button it's in your time zone <laughs> yeah yeah exactly. it's one of those great things that the social media platforms do correctly and youtube is just click you want the thing or subscribe <laughs> folks subscribe and turn on the, hit the notification bell let's do all the youtube stuff yeah and <laughs> then subscribing hit the bell do all that <laughs> smash the button as the kids say right smash that, that like button come yeah, on smash buddy. that there you go um so todd <laughs> did uh did do it eric so um uh, i want to hear uh, e rich split some bars on the half you know since he's a rapper i, I have no bars my friends i have no <laughs> bars all right eric well this has been a blast thank you so much sir this is uh let, let's oh, close yeah. it up here all right. Well, we have come to the close of another show. We want to thank the regulars for the comments. And like I said, we are super excited to recognize all the nominees on the 12th of November. So get in there and nominate your favorite products, your favorite businesses, your favorite people, your favorite educators, your ambassadors. Get them in and make sure you promote. Yes, definitely. Check that out at tworegularguys.com slash Reggie's. Thanks so much to Eric for, for being here. I didn't even bring it up at the top, but Eric not only was here hosting the show with me, he was also pushing the buttons. So uh, pretty a impressive. Good portion. Though what I'm going to say is our friend here, Aaron Montgomery, managed to go ahead and push some buttons himself while we were working on the show. <laughs> we were trading off. It's like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, here. wow. This is this is <laughs> something new. It could could be something big coming in our future, Eric. We've got lots of different show ideas. We can Anyhow. just be producers for everybody. That's just that's the new business now, man. Yeah, I'm just producing exactly. shows. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thanks to all the regulators again. Like you said, uh, got Gail saying thanks, guys, and and appreciate it. Ramona, we'll see you in a few. But uh, next week, Eric, we've got Sheila Ryan joining us, and she's going to be talking about the creative process and good embroidery design principles. So, um, cool. keep the that going. And and she's starting some new stuff. In fact, she's got a new podcast. So we're going to bring that up and and kind of get get you guys introduced to some new opportunities here and, and excited to, to talk to Sheila. And uh, she's an amazing person. I got to meet her in, in person at the applique getaway in Dallas last year. So can't wait to talk to Very Sheila. Cool. And so really looking forward to that one, Eric. Absolutely. Well, with that uh, until then, I'm Eric Campbell sitting in for once again, the illustrious Terry Combs. Uh, he's Aaron Montgomery. And we are the two regular guys. Here we go. We're out! <laughs> awesome. Thank you for listening to Two Regular Guys. Check out our website at tworegularguys.com. That's the number two, regularguys.com. You can also interact with us over at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash tworegularguys, or send us a tweet, twitter.com slash tworegularguys. And we have a YouTube page. You can find all that from our website, tworegularguys.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to spending some time with you again next week.